All right, I'm going to start a new quadcopter. It's going to be a homemade frame made out of wood. It's going to be an H-copter. So, uh, I found these four pieces of wood. I don't even know what they're from. I found them in the, when I was cleaning up the house down in the, my room here. And I decided I'm going to turn them into an H-copter. So basically what I've done is uh, there's four pieces and they're 20 inches long. So what I'm going to do is um, basically it's just going to be that and then I'm going to sheet in the center section here. I'm going to cut this off which is um, I believe it's an inch and a half. Um, to make up for the, because I'm just going to, I'm going to butt them in like this and glue them and I'm going to run a screw in, drill a hole through and run a screw in to make everything secure and then I'm going to put some light ply or something in the center section. So then it'll be square, it'll be just, it's basically the same thing as a quadcopter except for it'll be uh, an H frame. Uh, I want to use this for my FPV um, quadcopter. The other one was good but it's just a little bit too small so I'm gonna keep it and uh, I'm gonna try this one out. I'm gonna use these uh, Hobby King motors. Uh, lots of people are using them. I had them on my old uh, RC Explorers uh, tricopter so I had three there, so I bought one more new one, so I'm going to take them off my uh, tricopter, and I'm going to make this frame. So basically, what all I'm just going to do is put one in each corner with an 1147 prop, and I'm going to run three cell. I might pull my rabbit controller off my other quad and stick it on here, uh, see how it does. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how things go. But anyways, uh, this is the start, and so I'm going to cut some wood and get this build on the way. So I've just got to cut the ends off of these two pieces. I've marked them here. I know this scroll saw isn't the ideal thing, but I'm too lazy to go out to the garage and use my, uh, my uh, miter saw. So we'll just chop them off with this and it'll be good enough. If it's not quite true, I've got a belt sander that I can do things up with. doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to have to measure out uh, the plate. So we got to go, we'll go four inches and across this way, 20 inches and then I'm going to have a bottom plate for the camera that's going to stick out another probably about uh, Oh, I don't know, two inches, so. All right, I was going to use some uh, mahogany door skin material, actually. And I thought, that might be a little heavy. So I scrounged through my balsa wood supply, and I found some two sheets that are exactly the right width. They're four inches by, I believe it's an eighth. Uh, I didn't really measure it, but I'd say it's about an eighth inch. And it's going to cover that perfectly. So instead of building that plot, that bottom lip out of this, I'm just going to cut it off here, uh, finish it off nice, and either I'll mount my camera, or GoPro, or whatever I want to mount, like right here, which shouldn't be a problem, really. And if it is, I'll mount a, I'll make another bracket uh, on like an isolation system that 
that mounts just underneath and then, then hangs out here to mount my GoPro out here. Um, so, yeah. Right, I was just thinking, oh, well, I should draw some lines out. Make sure that uh, this thing's square and everything. And then I remembered a sheet of uh, dollar store foam board happens to be exactly 20 inches wide and 30 inches long so I thought hey that'll make a perfect jig so there it is laying exactly on one sheet of uh, dollar store foam this is the balsa 1 8 balsa sheeting I cut to 20 inches 4 inches wide so that'll go in for the center section and it's uh, going to be 28 and a quarter inches right from the very tip to the other tip across so it's gonna be a good size that's what I wanted uh, the other one's a lot smaller and agile I wanted this one big and sturdy and with that the woods a little bigger than I usually it's three-quarter inch square um, I usually use half inch but with that light balsa in the middle I think that's it's gonna be just good nice and strong a uh, little heavier than you know if it was carbon fiber or something like that but it's gonna be cheap and I won't worry about it if I crash it or something so I can have lots of fun All right if you've got any suggestions on this build uh, any ideas you want to share with me uh, it's my first uh, H frame so uh, give me some comments as usual if you like the uh, build video give me a thumbs up all right that's it for now